Hello and welcome to this video on Azure Desired State Configuration. Uh, in this video we'll be working our way through a basic Azure Desired State Configuration setup. Um, if you've seen the previous videos in this series you'll be familiar with um, using DSC to perform a push installation on premise. Well we're going to be doing very similar things really to perform a push installation in Azure. Now both Azure and on-premise solutions support pull installations and I think I've mentioned in previous videos that it should be pull installations we're working with in production. But I find that going through the basics um, of DSC first will help when we get to those more advanced scenarios. Now, um, the configuration we're going to be using will be done from PowerShell. Now, you can configure most of the Azure uh, Desire State configuration features uh, using the new portal today. But we'll use PowerShell. Uh, for this demonstration and then we'll introduce the new portal and its settings again in later videos. So let's start off by um, looking at the scripts we're going to use to perform this uh, installation. So I'm using the integrated script environment and it, it's uh, worth saying at this point as well that I've got the latest Power, Azure PowerShell module installed. If you're using um, Azure PowerShell module that's older than version one, then it, that version will not work with this configuration. So the first thing you should do is connect to the um, Azure website, um, azure.microsoft.com. Make sure you've got the latest PowerShell version um, installed first. Um, once you've done that, you need to connect the ISC up to um, your Azure subscription. So we've got the line here on line one, um, add dash Azure account. Now I've already run that um, command. I've signed in uh, to my subscription. Um, the other thing I've already done, if we take a look at the DSC script itself, I've got this desired state configuration script called feature install. And this um, script is going to do two things for me. Uh, one, it's going to install the web server feature. Um, and two, it's going to install the Windows Server backup feature, make sure they're present. Now this is almost identical to the um, DSC script we used in previous videos. Uh, one thing you might want to just take note of here is the node name. Here we've used node name local host. In previous videos we have used uh, variables or we've defined the host name that the DSC script should apply to. Um, and then we've run commands that have created MOF files and it's the MOF files that got processed on each local machine. With desired state configuration it's a little bit different. Uh, for Azure because we're going to be creating a single file that gets uploaded to a storage account. From there the Azure DSC extension will process uh, that file and run it against the machines that we target. So the name should be local host because it's going to be processed on uh, the local machines that we target. Now I've saved that um, script there uh, with a .ps1 extension so feature install.ps1 um, and I now need to execute commands to upload this to my um, storage account. So if we go back to our main script, um, line three here, we've got the publish Azure uh, VM DSC configuration commandlet and a configuration path. Now that's all we need. Now bear in mind that I do have a default storage account configured for my subscription. Um, if not, you'll have to do that first uh, before this command will work. So if I execute line three, and that'll upload the feature install.ps1 um, script to my Azure subscription, um, and it'll create as a zip file. So the full name will be feature install.ps1.zip. It'll be created for me. Now we can take a look at that in our storage container uh, before we execute the final PowerShell command. So if I sign in to the Azure portal, Here we are in uh, my Azure portal then, um, and we're going to take a look at my storage account first. So if I go to resource groups, and my resource group that contains my storage account. So I've got my storage account here, so I'll select my storage account, and we'll take a look at blob storage inside here. So blob storage. And because it's blob storage, we will see a list of uh, containers. 
if I scroll down here, you can see a list of containers. Now, because I've got lots of um, um, monitoring and logging going on, I've got lots and lots of containers. So it's very difficult to see sometimes, but you see the three dots in this bottom right corner here. If I click on that, it'll then open up a new blade or list of all my containers inside there. And what you should find if the files are loaded correctly is that you'll get this Windows PowerShell DSC container that's been created for you inside your storage account. And if we click on there, there we go. We've got our file, uh, my, my, my file feature installed at ps1.zip. Now the name is important here. The name is case sensitive. So when I execute uh, the uh, DSC extension against one of my machines, it's going to be looking for this lowercase name. So when in, when in the um, script we're about to run, if you mix the case or put in up a case or anything like that, it won't work. So my advice is once you've uploaded the file, make sure it's it's there by using a portal um, like we, we just did. Look at the file name and look at what case it's in. Here, sorry, in lowercase, that's what I'm going to use in my next script. So now we know the file's there, let's go back to the PowerShell ISE and finish off this configuration. So back in um, the ISE then, uh, we've got the command get Azure VM, and this is going to target a virtual machine for me called DC1, that's in uh, the cloud service, MGB leads cloud service. And we are piping that to the set Azure VM DSC extension commandlet, that's going to apply the DSC extension. And within this commandlet, we're targeting uh, the file name. So minus configuration archive, the name of our file, feature install.ps1.zip, and a configuration section inside that file. Now this has to match the configuration sec sec section that you want to run. And if we, we take a look at the um, our basic file again, you see the configuration section is called feature install. So that's what we included under configuration name. I pipe this to the update Azure VM command. And then that, uh, once run, should apply the extension, uh, conf or configure the extension, and apply our file. Let's just run that. Um, obviously, this, this is a single uh, command, but, or a series of command piped together. Um, I've split it over several lines, use a little flick um, to make sure that the um, command is more visible on screen. Oops, he says, but then he's missed that a little flick there. So all that red on the screen, I think, is because I've missed out that little flick, flick um, at, at the right hand side. So let's just try and run that again. And we'll give it a second. This looks a little bit more promising. So hopefully now uh, we're targeting DC1, it's running the extension and it's going to run update that Azure VM. This should take about a minute to run. Now, although it, it'll take, only take about a minute to run, um, the DSC extension itself will take a little bit of time uh, to process the script. So once it finishes, we'll take a look back at the portal and see uh, where we go to, to, to check on the progress of our command. So this time the command's run. It did take about uh, 90 seconds for that command to run. Um, and I did pause the video while it was doing that. Um, so if there is a delay, don't worry. Now that command's run, that's the last thing we need to do in PowerShell. So if we go back to the portal, let's have a look uh, at the results and see, see um, if we can check on the progress of our desired state configuration uh, script. Here we are back in the portal. So let's go take a look at that machine. If I go to resource groups again, I've got the resource group here that contains my virtual machine DC1. So here's DC1, we'll, we'll connect to that. And it opens up DC1's blade. Uh, under all settings, you should be able to find the extension section. 
and there should be a list um, of um, extensions, including the PowerShell DSC extension. So here we can say status is success. So we click on that. We can view the details um, of the uh, installation. And it produces nice uh, little log showing us um, uh, the DSC process, really, that the uh, DSC script has run, that's been processed by the local configuration manager, and that it's installed our features. Now, depending on um, the speed of Azure at the minute, you might be able to have a look at the portal, and instead of success, it might say transitioning. Um, worst case, it might say error. Now, if it does say error, um, check to make sure that the file that's been uploaded matches the file name that you've applied with the extension. Also make sure, as I said before, using the latest version of um, the Azure PowerShell module. So um, that's it for now. Uh, we'll come back more to um, Azure DSC and DSC on-premise in the future. Um, do uh, keep an eye on the channel as well because we will be adding um, lots of videos over the next two weeks about Azure Resource Manager. Um, as you'll know, the new portal um, came out of preview in November. Um, it's the portal that we all should be using now for Azure development. So if you're not familiar with this portal, lots of good stuff coming up on the channel. Uh, feel, f please feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. And again, make suggestions for uh, content you'd like to see in the future. Thank you. Bye.